Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Dramatical Murder. Um, we are taking this package that our boss gave us to the courier or the mail person, but on the way there, we notice there's a fight, and then somebody screamed. Guess we need to figure out what happened here. Definitely has nothing to do with that weird brain-jacking story we just heard a second ago. I peer through the gaps in the crowd. A large man is sprawled out on the ground, another man standing over him. The second man has his back to me, but I recognize him immediately. A bright red kimono and a big sword. There's no one else it could be. Okay, who's the suave person? Kujaku. I'm assuming that's his name. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, but all the girls want him. Starry-eyed girls flock to the victor, trampling the man on the ground in the process. Here we go again. One woman, who was keeping a bit of a distance, approaches with an apologetic bow. She must be the girlfriend of the man sprawled on the street. I'm guessing the commotion started when they tried to cut in line at Kojaku's shop. Calming his angry fans with a gesture, Kojaku gives the girlfriend a smile. So he's a hairdresser. And he has tattoos. I see. Can't have all cutting in line, you know. Yeah, you can't cut in line. There's a line for a reason. Don't cut. The woman's eyes sparkle, her cheeks turning bright red. There goes another one. Kujaku's other fans are not amused. Okay, all these fangirls are very annoying. Oh, Kujaku, you must be sweaty. I just brought this handkerchief, but you're welcome to use it. Well, it, okay, woman, he just said no. He doesn't want to use your weird handkerchief. He doesn't need... He's got a whole, like... He's got a lot of hair. He's got a tattoo and a weird neck thing. I don't know if he has anything to wipe himself off with, but he doesn't want your handkerchief. Never mind. Apparently, he wants your handkerchief. <laughs> True. Can't turn down a lady when she tries to... She's trying to give you... Give you something giving you a handkerchief. Kujaku takes the woman's hands, pulling her towards him with a smile. Oh, he's trying to be all suave with the woman. Oh. <laughs> there it is. His infamous lady killer smile. Well, that's what I call it, at least. So he's a, he's a playboy, who's also like, like a, or like he's, all the women like him. He does hair, apparently, which is, you know, just a plus. The woman with the handkerchief slumps to her knees, attracting jealous glares from the others. Every woman here seems out for blood. I agree. Let's get out of here. This isn't the first time I've seen this shtick. Disgusted, I start to move away from the crowd. Hey, Oba. Hello. Oh, you have right eyes. Ooh. Hello. Uh, apparently, my person does not like him. Never mind. Ugh. <laughs> I can feel all those eyes focusing on me. I'll pretend I didn't hear him. Yeah, just walk away. I turn around and start walking at a brisk pace. But Kajaku runs after me and grabs my arm. Here we go again. Hello, hello, who? Yo, yeah, just tell him yo. What's with the cold shoulder? Um, 
<laughs> I love that the woman in the corner is still very much just like, Oh, this is lovely. I'm right by him. He's really amazing. Yes, I'm making a delivery. Kujaku smiles indulgently, which of course makes the women around him swoon again. He smiles like a weapon. He's been using it for ages, but women still fall for it. I really don't feel like talking here. There are too many people around and the women's eyes are scaring me. I agree. <laughs> he thought he could skip the line. I took care of it by cutting him with my sword. <laughs> oh god, he actually did. I did I was not expecting that. <laughs> I sweep my gaze over the woman glaring at me. It was clear that they weren't about to let anyone, man or woman, get close to Kajaku. Scary. His, his knuckles have like, I forgot what they're called. Ah, uh, not blisters. The, the, like, they look like he's been punching something, is what it looks like. Kujaku punctuates this with a smirk because he's got a smile that everyone loves. Seriously? Well, I guess I can't argue with him there. Kujaku's pretty much always been aware of how handsome and popular he is. He's not the type to brag about it, but he has a casual confidence about him, and he knows his way around a fight. He's a wandering hairdresser. All he does is cut and style women's hair, but apparently he's developed quite the reputation for it. He sets up shop wherever and whenever he feels like it. He doesn't advertise or take reservations, but he always has a line around the block. They all say when Kujaku touches his hair, touches your hair, it feels like you've died and gone to heaven. I just don't get it. If you told me a guy like this existed, I wouldn't believe you for a second if it, I didn't already know him. <laughs> Not enough. He has not broken enough hearts, apparently. Women are one of life's greatest pleasures. Yeah, well, for you, I guess. That's your, that's your opinion. You sexy guy, treat him right. Gotta give him fancy haircuts. Oh god, they, they, all the hurt. That sounded like more like a cat than a. What floats your. Yeah, don't we have a package to deliver? Or at least to deliver to the deliverer. As soon as I end the conversation, the women swarm Kajak. He shoots me a look from the center of the crowd. Tell Miss Tay, who's Miss Tay? I mean, I'm assuming that's the old, older lady that we saw. I shrug and walk off. Still, the guy never gets enough, huh? I mean, he must like it, but I know I would hate to be the center of that all that attention. I guess he's a special breed. I head for the courier, leaving the crowd behind. Delivery works. There it is. I step through the automatic doors. That much me missed hey. Hello. I bowed to Miss Yoshi. Oh, nope, that's Miss Yoshi. I bowed to Miss Yoshi and set the paper bag on the counter. A small dog with long, shiny fur sits proudly on the counter, watching me intently. Are you also one of those artificial dogs that are like basically an Alexa, but cooler. That's Clara, Miss Yoshi's all mate. Yep. Does Clara know Ren? Do they know each other? Mm hmm. <laughs> Miss Yoshi checks the address with practiced hands, then pushes a nearby button. A box next to the counter opens. She tosses the bag inside. This outfit specializes in delivering packages within... Uh, let me try that again. This outfit specializes in delivering packages within the old residential district, a welcome service in a town where transportation isn't readily available. 
In any case, my work here is done. No, I'm going home, not to the store. Ah, dang it, I cut him off. <gasps> the final episode of AWTR. What is AWTR? It's, hold on, I got this. AWTR, it's A, Wiggly, to remember. No, it's a walk to remember. It's that movie from like 2005. I don't remember. But it's the final episode of that movie. Yeah, that totally makes sense. A W what? Oh, come on. Didn't I tell you about it the other day? You mean you're telling me it's not a walk to remember? It's a soap opera, a waltz to remember. I was so close. I can't believe I actually got that. I can't. Oh, I mean, I didn't get it, but I mean, it, walk to remember, waltz to remember. I was only off by like literally two letters. His slight sadistic streak. I'm sorry. Um, um, you you going for the bad boys? Miss Yoshi twirls her hair around her finger with a dreamy, girlish look in her eyes. I mean, she's not a bad person or anything. You're being very vague, Miss Yoshi. I'm gonna just in, very vague. You know what I'm talking about, don't you? Or maybe you do, maybe you don't. Mm -hmm. Miss Yoshi beckons me closer, a serious look on her face. She's really not a bad person. Swallowing a resigned sigh, I lean closer. There's no other people in the shop, but for some reason she speaks in a whisper. Yogadani, the north, yes. What's been happening? So, in the north, Death Row Inmate has a bunch of guys, has a gang. There's a gang up north, basically. Oh good, a gang of escaped criminals. Even better. People are kidnapped, so I probably shouldn't go up there. I don't want to get kidnapped. She's not wrong about that. The old residential district police are no better than the gangsters themselves. That's true. The police are in with the Yakuza and the... they. It's just basically people can get away with stuff. Rub an officer the wrong way and you could get beaten or even arrested. <laughs> Miss Yoshi shoots me a meaningful look. I think, I, I think you'll be fine. Yeah, I agree, I agree with Aoba. I think you'll be okay. I think she actually wants to be kidnapped. <laughs> or she's just very hysterical. Yeah. You can you can fend for yourself, lady. Hold it. Another voice stops me before I can leave. It's the dog. Exactly. That's gonna about Ren. Ah, see, I knew they were best of friends, too. I'm calling everything in this game. Taking Clara into her arms, Miss Yoshi shoots me in an expectant look. Uh, I left him at home then. You don't know that he's in the bag. You have no idea. 
No way out. I'm sorry, Ren. You'll just have to grin and bear it. Oh, does Ren not like Clara? Claire? Clara? I don't remember the name of the dog. It was just on the screen a second ago. I take Ren out of my bag and gently pat his head to wake him up. Clara, right. Oh, yeah, dog doesn't like Clara either. Ren's ears and tail drop. Clara stares down at him from her place at Miss Yoshi's arms. And just formal, how are you? Why does the dog look so smug in the little portrait of her? Clara wags her tail happily. Miss Yoshi smiles too. Okay, we've been trying to leave for like four texts now. Let's get up. We gotta get out of here. Yes, Miss Yoshi, what do you want? What do you what do you need? It's night by the time Miss Yoshi lets me go. <laughs> Dog just bared and grinning. Good job. Ren is curled up in my bag, exhausted from his whole ordeal. Despite the attitude, Clara seems rather fond of Ken er, of Ren. She asks him wherever, whenever I see her. While users can adjust their all-mates' personalities to some degree, they are largely shaped by their environment. As a result, you can never tell when two all-mates will connect. Ren doesn't seem to like Clara very much, but unfortunately for him, I find the whole situation kind of funny. <sighs> After she stopped me for the last time, Miss Yoshi made me eat this whipped cream slathered monstrosity she made in cooking class. Excuse me, whipped cream is delicious and you best take that back, sir. My stomach is killing me. Oh, well, if it's just whipped cream, that's probably not very filling or healthy for you. But whipped cream can be delicious. Feeling like a couple of soldiers who narrowly escaped death on the battlefield, we start toward home. Night is on full swing on Aoyogi Street. The darkness washed away by lights and brilliant neon signs. There is no zoning laws in the old residential district. Even in the middle of the day, the crooked, sky, uh, the crooked skyline ensures that some parts of the city will never see the sun. But when night falls, things really change. That's when the ribsties come out of the ribsties. Ribsties come out of the woodwork. The ribsties are young men who form gangs or teams to brawl with each other over turf. This game, if you call it that, is also known as a rib. Rib was possible before rhyme. We had rib, then we had rhyme. So the rib game, uh, rib was possible before rhyme. So the rib gangs look down on their digitized rhymer cousins. They think they're just a bunch of nerds trying to act cool. Still, more and more ribsties are making the jump to rhyme, and that means everyone's looking for a fight. Someone, suddenly, someone from behind grabs my arm. Oh, goodness, don't you trying to fight me. I don't know if I... Um, yes. It's a man with dyed red hair. He looks younger than me. Ooh, and dyed green hair. A grinning green-haired man approaches next. Red and green. Is it Christmas or something? I was going to make that joke, Eo, but we had the exact same thought. Am I going to have to fight? Is that what's happening right now? The red-haired one gives me a phony smile. I try to jerk my arm away, but the redhead glares and grips me tighter. So, we're getting, we're getting mugged. We're getting mugged. That's what's happening. Okay, um... You know who we are? Bug Bomb. <laughs> That's not the most intimidating name, sir. Bug Bomb. Let me just throw all these ladybugs at you. <laughs> the green-haired guy flashes the tattoo on his wrist. A winking woman with enormous breasts straddling a big pink bomb. Wow, I'd kill the guy who put that on my skin. I agree. That sounds like a terrible tattoo 
In any case, I haven't heard of Bug Bomb. Obviously, these two are small time looking for fights to build their cred. That is one ugly tat. I agree. <laughs> so unmarked means not with not with a not with a gang. Red and green look at each other, grinning like idiots. <laughs> Rib gangs always have a tag, a piece of art members tattoo a piece of art members tattoo on their body. If you don't have a tat, it means you're not in a gang, and that makes you an easy target. The dude with the sword had a tattoo, like, on his chest, I think. I wonder if he's part of the gang. Better quit while you can. Mm, who said that? Ooh, is it, the, is it the dude with the sword? Red looks over my shoulder, glaring at the man who's appeared behind me. Fly with the Kurt stopped the both of you. Who are you? I agree. Who are you? Without the fucker, but who are you? Green, meanwhile, has turned white as a sheet. Ooh, and this is a guy that everyone fears. Okay. That's Mizuki, the boss of dry juice. Okay, dry juice is better than bug bomb. I will say, dry juice is just probably like another word for like alcohol. Dry juice. Heel drop, so it's either a fancy kick, knowing my wrestling moves, or it's like a curb stomp type thing. Yeah, okay, red and red and green nerve just okay, goodbye, Mario and Luigi. The man behind me laughed as the two punks run off with their tails between their legs. I turn around knowing exactly who I'll see. Hello? Yeah. Who are you? You got a teardrop on your eye that means you killed somebody, I think. Mizuki! Mizuki, tattoo artist. Oh, he's a tattoo artist. It's Mizuki, leader of the dry juice, the largest of the rib gangs. Oh, that's exciting. He has tan skin, black hair, and green eyes. The symbol of his game, a teardrop, is tattooed beneath one eye. Okay, so that's just the symbol of his game. Oh, he just made up the type of kick we can do. Dang it. I was hoping we could, like, curb stomp him. I like I like this guy already. He's he's cool. Have you finally decided? To, oh God, never mind. He's trying to get me to join this thing. He grins welcomingly, welcomingly, but I just shrug. He really wants. But do I have to get the tattoo? Can I have like a temperate, maybe like a henna, a henna tattoo? Would that be okay? I used to run with Mizuki back in the day, but we got in all sorts of trouble. Though he's usually pretty laid back, he's also a guy you can depend on who knows when it's time to get serious. Rip Fighters all think they're hot shit, so it's pretty impressive that he's managed to unite so many from the largest rib gang. Still, I have no intention of joining. <laughs> Yeah, if you're the biggest team, wouldn't you be the strongest? I guess it makes sense. Rhyme is taking over. Mizuki's expression darkens. Brain power. So maybe rhyme is like a way of measuring like how strong your brain is. Maybe. I don't know. Just... Can you protect your turf with your imagination? <laughs> yeah, you just gotta SpongeBob it. It will work. 
確かにな。I honestly can't blame Mizuki for feeling the way he does about Rhyme. I mean, you could make the same argument about Rib that it's just a bunch of kids playing capture the flag, but I know Mizuki really cares about his team. It's probably why he can't he can't just let trend hoppers slide. Disappearances, you say? Disappearances, you say? He's talking about disappearances. That lady, Miss Yoshi, was talking about kidnappings. Wonder if they're interlinked. Oh, it's over a decade old. Eh, never mind then. Guys showed up after a few days after they disappeared, not all at once. Not all at once, just a few at a time, but they don't remember a thing. That's weird. I, what you said, that's weird. It's like their brains were fried or something. Spitball in here. Maybe they, because you have to use, I'm trying to think, because you're using your brain to do rhyme. Maybe their brain is like getting stuck in that virtual world area, you know, like a crappy sword art online, which is already pretty crappy. Um, maybe like something like that. Didn't they say morphine was behind it? Who's, mo who's morphine? Hello? Morphine was a legendary rib gang that dominated the scene a decade ago. Their tag was a heart with a, and a cross all in black. The gang was cloaked in mystery. All anyone knew was that they were invincible. Naturally, rumors gathered like flies. One popular rumor said they were behind the di one popular rumor said they were behind the disappearances. I mean, it makes sense if you don't think that it's going to be like another group that uh, naturally they would think it's the enemy of them, which would be like the people who play rhyme or whatnot. It's not that as far-fetched. They have been getting real cocky lately. I'm guessing, I don't know. <laughs> oh, hello? Just then, we hear cheering nearby, followed by the thunderous thunder of footsteps as people race to the scene. Mizuki scowls. Fucking rhyme. <laughs> I think I like him better than Katana sword guy dude with the like the long hair the hairdresser dude. Yeah, I think I like him better. Mizuki waves and stalks away, pushing through the gathering crowd. Once Mizuki is gone, I turn toward the center of the commotion. While Rhyme isn't exactly my boat, I don't have anything against it either. I was actually pretty curious the first time Mizuki brought it up. I pat Ren's head and start to make my way out of the alley. But then... A white light swallows the world. Oh god, am I going to get forced into this Rhyme thing? Before I can figure out what's going on, a ball of light appears in front of me. Oh, goodness. It gradually assumes a human form, then reaches towards me with one hand. My fingertip, its fingertips stroke my cheek, or at least I think they do. The next thing I know, I'm at the center of the crowd. What? 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 Bodies press in from all sides. I'm trapped. Um, am I getting forced into the game? Also, hello. A circle of light is floating above the ground, and inside it is, I'm assuming, 
as a woman with eight arm appears, swaying slowly before coming to a stop. I'm guessing that's one of the Usui's, the judge. It's time for what you Some of these uh, voice act voices are really low. Layer versus Route 44. So this is Rhyme. I've never seen it up close before. The eight-armed woman is Usui, who presides over all of the Rhyme battles. I say woman, but for some reason it has a deep, manly voice. Usui's hands flicker. The light grows brighter, and a huge virtual screen appears overhead. The fighters are already in the ring, preparing with their all-mates. Oh my god, look at that cat! Look at the, look at the cat! With the rookie... Ring. Oh, sorry. <laughs> so, there's a player's... There's a rookie and their player's winning streak or something. I haven't been paying attention to that part. Is one of their names Route 44? And then do they fight? Uzi lifts his hands with gentle grace, its elegant movements, a sharp contrast to its booming voice. The monitor switches to a view of the field, the audience hoots and cheers. <laughs> oh, goodness. Suddenly, a sharp pain shoots through my head. I'm sorry? Um, what is happening? What the hell is the noise getting to me? Clutching my forehead, I glare at the crowd. I'm fine, but we should get going. No, you should have told your doggo. That you feel pain. I'm sure it's smart enough to realize you're lying to it. That would be for the best. See, it, he knows. He know, it knows. I finally managed to muscle my way through of the roaring throng. Ooh, I love the word throng there. Leaning against a nearby wall, I sigh and catch my breath. Um, hello, hello. Are these the twins? Oh, I look up to find a familiar duo standing in front of me. Okay, next time. Next, next, we're gonna meet them next time. Okay, we're meeting them. That's happening next. Bot, bot. Oh, look at 